Hey guys, Aiden here from Core Electronics and we're back again with another 3D printing tutorial. But today we're not going down the slicer route, we're going to look at something a little bit different and that is our design software. So computer assisted drawing programs or CAD programs are like in multitudes. You've got different options everywhere you look, different free options as well. So we're going to just choose one and stick with it and roll with it for a while and show you guys how to use it to create some models for 3D printing because after a while you'll print everything there is to print on Thingiverse and you'll want to start creating some of your own things for projects and the like around um, the house or if that's what you're doing for a product or something like that. So we're going to jump on here, we're going to have a look at Fusion 360 as our choice and we're going to have a look at why and then we will just go through a quick rundown of the, the user interface. So jump over on the computer now and we'll do that. So Fusion 360 is a cloud-based design software from a company called Autodesk, which are massive, a massive company in the area of 3D design. To find some Fusion 360 software for yourself, essentially just go to Google and Google Fusion 360 and one of the first links will be from autodesk.com and that's the one you're looking for. It should look like something like this when you get on here. Now, the first thing you'll notice is that you can have a free a free license for students and educators. So if you're a student out there looking for some um, some good CAD software to use, you get a free license uh, for free, essentially. So you just need to create an account and sign in and just enter your details as it asks for it. Um, this also is free for hobbyists and people that are making less than 100K a year. So it's also another great tool for those sort of people to be using. So I picked this one uh, a couple of years back when I started picking up some CAD skills and I've just stuck with it ever since and it's got a really nice tool chain for 3D printing so I've, I've just stuck with it. Um, go ahead, download your version of Fusion 360 and then we'll open it up and have a look at it. So the first time you open Fusion 360 it will look something like this. You'll have an untitled project open and then on the left you'll have your data panel which you can see a couple of our projects here. Um, you can simply close the data panel if you like. If you want to open it back up, it's just there. Essentially, that's just a quick way to navigate between your projects. Now, there's a ton of information on the data panel. We're not going into that today. We're just going to look at the basic workspace and how it works for 3D printing. So to move around the workspace, you can use your mouse, which works really well, or you can use these bottoms, uh, options down the bottom of the screen. I like to use my mouse. The middle button allows me to pan. If I hold in Shift and the middle button, I can rotate around the green dot that's in the center of the screen. If there's a model on the screen, it will be the center of mass of that model that I'll be rotating about. Um, and pretty much with those two options, I can get anywhere I need to. Oh, and the zoom, so I can scroll the middle mouse button to get in and out. On the left-hand side, you've got the browser here. So in there, I've got the options. Um, the document settings, so I can change the units that I'm measuring in. I've got some named views, which by default are set to top, front, right, and home. Alternatively, I can use the view buttons up in the top right to get around to all the standard views that you might want. And as you mouse over them, you can see where it's gonna look at it from. So essentially, just clicking here, or you just revert straight back to home by doing that one there. And then finally, you can click here and see the origin. So you can actually see those planes and axes if you click to to turn them on, but usually you'd have them turned off. So with that in mind, we can see that we've got our, our bed here and what can we do to make an object? Essentially the things that you'll be doing with 3D printing is you'll be sketching out your objects using the create sketch button. You'll pick your axes just like that. You'll create a 2D image of what you're trying to create. And you can see that that's just a basic rectangular shape. Once you've got, once you're happy with your sketched profile, you can then do things to a sketched profile, like pull it or push it out. We call that an extrude. We can go out by a certain amount there, we'll say 20 mil, and then we have a cube. We can do, finally we can do a few things to the outside of our model. Things like filleting the outside, just by clicking these buttons. And once we're happy with a basic model, we can save it as an STL file. So we go into our uh, browser here, go to the bodies, and we can save it straight away as an STL file. Usually we leave this as a binary format. We're only saving the one body, and you can choose whichever you like. Usually high is pretty good. Once you've got that, save that one to your desktop as body file. 
it'll essentially output a STL model to here, and then we can open that up with Cura. All right, so now Cura is loaded up, which takes a little bit longer than we are used to with the old Cura version. Um, we can go in and we can open up that STL file that we've just saved from Fusion 360, and there it is, right on the bed. Um, ready to be sent to our printer, or ready for slicing and to be sent to our printer. So obviously that was a really quick and easy model to just um, whip up in a few minutes, uh, a few seconds even. But in the future, we'll cover off on all the different tools that are available to us in Fusion 360 and how we can use those to create bits and pieces for our own projects at home. So I hope that this tutorial was a little bit informative to you and you should jump on that free license as soon as possible and have a bit of a play in your own spare time. We'll, uh, we'll be uploading some new videos in the next couple of weeks specifically to do with CAD software. So stay posted for those ones and all the best with your projects.